I'm sorry to call so late. It's just that Zoe won't stop crying, and I wondered if you had any ideas. Yeah, we still watch South Park. Because it's funny. Mom, I don't think Zoe's crying because we watch South Park. Okay, Mom, thanks. Goodbye. <sighs> How can Zoe cry like this every night? She just keeps on going. It's like a Springsteen concert. I don't know how much more of this we can take. So, you have endured two weeks of unspeakable torture. Perhaps now you will tell us where the invasion is to take place. There's a little housewarming gift for you. Compliments of Uncle Sam. I was hoping to spare you this, but... Well, that wasn't so bad. The sun won't come up for a whole 26 minutes. <sighs> so you want to fool around? Are you sure? Yeah. It's important that we keep that fire burning. Okay, let's do it. One of us has to move. You lose. Okay. That is really impressive. Now, I'm sorry I have to go to work. I know. I'd stay home if I could. I know. You don't have to be in such a hurry. Hey, Dad, you want to hear a joke? No. What's brown and sounds like a bell? Rodney. Dong! <laughs> I told you I didn't want to hear a joke. If you disobey me one more time, I'm going to put your head in this vice, and I'm going to... Oh, hi, Wanda. Hi, Carl. Taking the day off. I have to stay home with Rodney. He was suspended again. I didn't do anything. It was a concierge bee. People do not conspire to frame an eight-year-old. They conspire to convince the country there was a moon landing. You were saying... Is Melinda home? No, she went to the... Uh, Dad. I am talking to Mrs. McPherson. I got a question. No! Just one! No! It's important! All right, all right. What's your question? Um... How many miles in the world? That is the stupidest question I ever heard! So you don't know? You can't know how many miles there are in the world. It doesn't make any sense. Okay! So, you, you want me to give Melinda a message? Oh, I, I guess I just wanted some help with Zoe. She's so fussy lately. Seems okay now. <laughs> and Zoe is giving Rodney a terrible beating. <laughs> His eyeball is hanging from the socket. Why don't they stop it? <laughs> Morning, Captain. Hi, Kenny. Oh, something wrong, buddy boy? What makes you think something's wrong? Well, there's the slightest hint of disquietude in that strong, manly baritone. Wife cut you off. All right, Kenny, you know what? You gotta leave now. Ooh, touched a nerve. Out. Let me guess. Since the baby was born, you've had wild sex every... never? <sighs> you can tell Kenny. Kenny's crawled through that desert. Well, you know how it is. By the time we get Zoe to sleep, I'm so tired. Yeah, well, you better shake off that fatigue, Captain, before it's too late. Now, what's that mean? Come on, she's a new mom. Her hormone meter's in the red zone. So what, one is gonna start having affairs? Those feelings gotta go somewhere. Oh, that is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Thank you so much, Carl. Hey, glad to be of service. Daryl, I didn't expect you home so early. I'll bet you didn't. Hi, Daryl. Carl? <sighs> well, that was a deep, fulfilled sigh. It's such a nice surprise when you think someone's rough and crude and they turn out to be soft and gentle and loving. Do I want to hear this? Uh-oh. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Unreal. I'm back in high school watching the girl I like get all giggly over some loudmouth dumbass. She hasn't cried once all day. He's amazing. Oh, you like him too? Wanda, this is Rodney we're talking about. 
All I'm saying is No, it's is all that... right. Girls like jerky guys. I'm used to it. God loves you, honey. No, he has to. I wanted to have the baby. She's so happy playing with Rodney. Rodney's funny. Yeah, yeah, all the girls love Rodney. Well, it's his bedtime. God, I hate this. Every night it's two hours of Carl yelling, go to bed. And Rodney says, one more question. And Carl says, it better not be a stupid question. And Rodney says, does Superman go to the bathroom? And this one starts <laughs> laughing and Carl flips out and I just hate it. Buy one to buy Daryl. Don't you want us to tiptoe in and get him? Are you nuts? When your kids give you a break, you don't question it, you take it. Yeah, but he's sleeping in the crib. So what? Shelby still sleeps with one of my bras. Whatever gets you through the night. Come on, kids. What, Rodney? Quiet! Good news, Carl! Rodney's not coming home! Well, I guess it is just one night. And we can certainly use the break. Oh my gosh, it's only 7.30. We have the whole evening in front of us. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I want this night to last forever. <sighs> Daryl, let's do this quick and take a nap. We are on exactly the same page. Hey, your daughter's still sleeping. What's for breakfast? That's the first time Zoe's ever slept through the night. Yeah, it's great getting back in the crib. I sleep easier when I'm behind bars. So does society. So, what are we doing today? Uh, we're staying here and you're going home. But I like it here. Nobody yells at me, and Mrs. McPherson is pretty enough to be a movie star. Oh, Rodney, a movie star? Oh, that's so sweet. I can't compete. But you have to go home. Your parents miss you. Hey, Dad, you miss me? No. I miss you. Quiet. See? Sorry, Rodney. Zoe's going to be real sad if I go. <laughs> well, thanks, little man, but I think we can handle it. Ah! Shoot me, Daryl. I'll give you a million dollars. Just shoot me. Hey, McParents. Oh, man. How can you guys stand that noise? Hey, Busy, how, how would you like to babysit for us tonight? Oh, darn. You know I can't tonight. You see, I've got this life. We'll pay you double. Headphones. Can't hear ya. Bye. OK, Zoe, here's the deal. If you stop crying for the next 18 years, you can eat candy and blow off school. <laughs> Going once, twice, well, the offer's on the table. We've tried everything but giving her whiskey. Hey! I checked, we're out. Oh. <sighs> At least we got some sleep last night. Last night was so nice. Rodney was here. I guess he's the only thing that settles her down. What are you suggesting? I'm not suggesting anything. I was stating a fact. That chair is blue. Dick Clark is a robot. Rodney was here. It's called conversation. Okay. Come on, Dad. One more joke. No. Knock, knock. Go to bed. Just do the joke, Carl. Uh. Knock, knock. Who's there? Yodelay. Yodelay he who? Hey, why are you yodeling? <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like she misses Rodney. Wait, where are you going with that? I'm not Anywhere. You said stating facts was conversation. I thought I'd give it a try. Okay. Well, we got along great last night. Rodney, Rodney was, was here. here. One more. No. One. Bed. One. Carol. Okay. One more. You start. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> oh, that's it. Hello. I'm going to get this belt. Really? I know it's a little peculiar, but if it's not too much trouble... I'm home! And the troll said, I'm gonna come up on that bridge and eat you! And the third billy goat gruff said, Come on up! <laughs> Payback time! 
Hey, hey family. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hey. So what did you guys do today? We made a batch of cookies. There would have been more, but your wife kept eating the dough. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Wanda. <laughs> Rodney, you irrepressible scale. <laughs> uh, well, 7 o'clock. Guess it's time for you and Zoe to hit the sack. Guess so. Oh, one more thing. This little setup we have is working real smooth. I was wondering what it's worth to you to keep it going. Are you extorting money from us? We could call it an allowance if you're more comfortable with that. Surely you didn't think something this good would stay free forever. Rodney, there is no way we're... Daryl, let's hear him out. Excellent. Now I'm going to write a number on this etch sketch These zeros are hard. You think about that, and we'll discuss it in the morning. This isn't weird, is it? What, Rodney? No. I mean, maybe a little unusual. Unusual, sure, but it's not harmful for Zoe, is it? Do you think it's harmful? Oh, no, of course not. I just wanted to put your mind at ease. Well, we should put a stop to it soon. Oh, yeah, very soon. I agree. Definitely. Mmm. That's good. By the way, you look great. <laughs> I've been working out while Zoe and Rodney take their afternoon nap. Oh, and that short story I've been fiddling around with since college? I finished it! Great! Hey, how about we have dinner, watch a movie, and then I read it while I catalog my baseball cards? You know, if we take Rodney away too suddenly, it might traumatize Zoe. Exactly. And besides, a happy parrot is a happy child, right? Right. We'll ease out of it. Too easing. Captain. Kenny, come in, sit down. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, it's you. Wait a minute. Somebody got naked last night. Not my style to talk. Oh, look, McGuire scored three times yesterday. It's all there if you want to count it. That's okay. I trust you. Night, Mr. McPherson. Night, Mom. <laughs> I mean, Mrs. McPherson. <gasps> oh! <sighs> Not a bad life, is it? Story time, easy flow bottles, sponge baths in the sink. You gotta enjoy it while you can. Now, I know you're thinking, here comes an old man talking out of his butt. <sighs> I tell you, Z, time goes by quicker than you sink. Left foot green. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, who's that? Surprise! Surprise! Honey, it's our parents. You didn't tell us you were coming. I would just want to make sure you weren't screwing up our granddaughter. <laughs> Let's sneak in and take a look. No! Oh. You see, it, we, we just, uh, we, we painted her room. Uh. Her fumes, uh, the poisonous fumes. You'll pass out. Zoe's wearing a gas mask. So I guess you came all this way for nothing. Hey! Could you keep it down? Zoe and I are trying to sleep. Jeez! We know it's a little unusual, but it's not as if we planned it this way. Exactly. It just kind of happened. But you can see there's all sorts of benefits to having him here. Yeah, and Zoe's just a baby. A baby! It's not like she's going to remember any of this. Yeah, so this is a good thing. A good thing. <clears throat> Your infant daughter is sleeping with an eight-year-old. And you two are well-rested parents. With hobbies! Does that sound normal? Think what this could lead to. So? Farther ahead. Zoe, 
Wait, why don't you tell us what you do remember? Well, I lost most of my memories in the shock treatments. Um, well, all I know is that someday I'm, I'm going to find my parents, and I am going to kill them! Hey, I want to kill them. I said I am, Rodney! Oh, my God. What have we done? This is your fault. You brought him into our home. My fault? I never would have got hooked on Rodney if it wasn't for you. Hey, hey, you've taken the first step. You've admitted you have a problem. Now, quit acting like Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman and get back to being miserable. But Rodney is part of our life. How could we give him up? There's only one way. Cold turkey. Boy. When that family circus guy lets his son draw the comic, really sucks, huh? <laughs> you two are quiet this morning. We have a lot on our minds. Yeah, me too. I sketched out some ideas for additions to the crib. <laughs> All these are just areas. Very broad brush. Rodney. Hey, everybody. Just brought over some of Rodney's things. His Christmas stocking? Stitching time. Hi, Dad. Hey, son. How's school? School's good. Okay. See you when I see you. Uh, Carl, wait. Rodney's got to go with you. He can't stay here anymore. What? what? So he has to learn to sleep alone. But I'm turning Rodney's room into a gym. We've made our decision. Daryl, I'm begging here, buddy. Please, reconsider. Look, this isn't easy for us either. We're sorry. Not as sorry as you're gonna be. Sure, you're feeling pretty strong right now. But how strong are you gonna be tonight when Zoe starts crying? Couple hours of that, you'll be begging for Rodney. Cause you know Rodney can make the pain go away. Get your stuff, son. What for? I'll be back. Are we strong enough for this? Alone? No. Together? Maybe. a pretty picture. But it's over. Zoe went to sleep while you were hallucinating. How'd you do it? Well, I asked myself, what would Rodney do in this situation? And? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? Like her mom. You know, it's been a long night, but I feel great. That's because we did the right thing. And going through this together really makes me feel close to you. More than a romantic dinner? Much more. Good night, Wanda. Good night, Daryl. Good night, Daryl. Dad, you want to hear a joke? No. I want to hear Ronnie's joke. Well, I don't. Just let him tell the joke, Carl. All right, all right. Tell it. Too late. What? You had your chance. <laughs> Rodney! Okay. Did you hear about the sexy pirate movie? No. It's rated. Pretty good.